Hi everybody, Steven Flag here, and welcome back to Flagcraft Divergence, where I have just spent so long off-camera grinding stuff, guys. I, my, my brain is about to melt. And uh, I've actually just spent the last hour troubleshooting something that I've been working on. We're not even going to look at that today. Next episode will be us troubleshooting and trying to figure out how to fix something that I screwed up royally here. But in the meantime, I did have something planned for today. Uh, so let us take a walk over here where you can see I have taken down a bit of a mountain. I did a lot of mining, guys. I went looking for a lot of petals for Batania. And I decided if I'm going to do Batania, I might as well go all out. So I opened up this whole area up here. You can see uh, I've got the water down here. And there's our petal apothecary. I've got a bucket in there. So we can just... We got our water from there. And boom, do our petal stuff there. I moved our our living wood and living rock over here. I know a lot of people tend to put them under the ground. I kind of like to have them above the ground. Uh, maybe we'll move them just, you know, f uh, for aesthetics. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, over here, y you remember me talking about uh, creating uh, a machine to help feed endo flames last episode, the endo flames that I couldn't remember. Well, this is that machine. This was a big empty area because I did have day blooms and nightshades out here, but of course, uh, with the way Batania works now, day blooms and nightshades freaking die. So I've got I've got a bunch more. Let's uh, let's just put out 16 of those and please tell me I have more nightshades. Oh God, yes, thank you. I made a lot of nightshades and day blooms, but we're not going to use a lot of them. So uh, those of you that know Batania, you know how day blooms and nightshades and everything work. They collect mana, and then the mana is shot into... I'm going to grab three more of flames. And the mana is shot into this mana pool, which uh, is looking pretty good now because I did spend a lot of time here while it was collecting. And then the mana spreader here is shooting it out to our runic altar for right now. But anyhow, how this machine works... Let me drop down a couple more of these uh, endo flames. We'll put one there and one there. And... One there should work too. Five endo flames. God. Okay, so uh, the way this machine works is uh, you can see some redstone here. I've got a pressure plate on the inside with some redstone that leads up to here with where there is a redstone lantern or a redstone torch of redstone lantern. Up top as well, the redstone continues along where it touches this dropper, which I have full of charcoal right now. So all I have to do is press this button. Charcoal will drop. And the endo flames will start to suck up the charcoal. And are they all connected? Yeah. And we get our mana pool filled up. You see? You see? We can just keep her going if we want to. Oh, oh, that didn't work. We might have to change our glass out uh, to actual, like, real glass or something. Because it looks like it's getting stuck. Keep going. There we go. So now it is, our, it is filling up our mana pool. So now we have our mana pool. We have our runic altar. Now, if we take a look at my chest over here, you can see how much work I have done off camera here, guys. This is insane. I did find a lot of petals. Almost all of them. I had some issues with the orange. And then uh, I just lucked out. I wound up, I jumped to one of the cities and there was like orange all over the place. So I have made, let me just take a look at these runes. Let me bring it up here so I can show you guys because I have not made all of the runes yet. No, just rune, just give me rune. So we do have the, the rune of water, which of course was made, made with mana powder, mana steel ingot, bone meal, sugar canes, and a fishing rod. Very easy. So you get two runes of water for that. The Rune of Fire, Mana Powder, Mana Steel Ingot, Nether Brick, Gunpowder, and Nether Wart. I had plenty of that, you get two Runes of Fire from that. Runes of Earth, Mana Powder, Mana Steel Ingot, Stone, Coal, like a block of coal, and a Mushroom. Also very easy. Rune of Air, Mana Powder, Mana Steel Ingot, Carpet, Feather, and String. Again, very, very easy to make. Uh, Rune of Spring, Any Saplings. It works with any saplings, it, it doesn't ma matter what you're using down there. A rune of fire, a rune of water, and some wheat. Okay, that's simple. Uh, what was it? That was spring. Summer is, is a rune of earth and a rune of air with uh, a couple of sand, a slime ball, and a melon. Now, I was able to make these. Uh, I just lucked out 
with with the uh, with the slime balls. Uh, I I don't think I have any slime balls left, so I I I can't remember how many runes of summer I made. There were. Uh, I don't think it's as many as the other ones. Rune of Autumn, I did not make yet. It requires Rune of Fire, Rune of Air, Spider Eye, and then uh, I believe it's just leaves, just regular leaves. Uh, but I have yet to make those, so maybe we'll take a look at that uh, today or maybe off camera. The Rune of Winter, I have not made either because I don't have snow. I need to actually find snow and make some snow things up so I can make those. And then uh, runes of mana, of course I made those, it's just mana pearls and mana steel ingots. The rest of these runes I have not made. The rune of lust, the rune of gluttony, the rune of greed, the rune of sloth, the rune of wrath. All of these are used to to create uh, our great, awesomely cool Batania items. Are you guys tired of hearing me talk yet? Because I'm, I'm getting tired of explaining this stuff. So what we're going to do today is, uh, first off I'm going to lay out a few day blooms here so we can, at the very least, uh, okay, remember not to put them next to one another. Oh, okay, yeah, so you, I got it. You gotta go. Um, here, 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 and then let's throw some nightshades out here just to complement it in case we're out here at night. Uh, the nightshades, in, in all honesty, guys, were a bit of a waste of time because I tend to sleep. I, we hit nighttime, I sleep. Uh, the only time the nightshades would actually work is if I were down in the in the basement working on something, and then you know I'm clearing my mana while I'm not there. Uh, all in all, the the whole uh, day blooms and nightshades dying. It's a cool mechanic, but I, I wish it would go away. I freaking hate it. It's the worst thing ever. It makes things harder. That's why I hate it. So uh, we want to go into our Lexica Batania here, and we want to create a few baubles. Now, one of, uh, two of the main ones that we want to make is a Band of Aura, which is... Uh, it doesn't store mana, but while it's equipped, it, it creates and it stores the mana into any items that you have in your inventory that require mana. So wearing that, you're you're just constantly reproducing mana into into your items that require mana, and then we're going to also make a band of mana, which in itself absorbs mana. So a band of mana normally, I believe, we would have to fill it up by tossing it into here. But as long as we're wearing a band of aura, it's going to be sucking stuff in and refilling our band of mana. So you, you get it, me? You get me? Any of you? Any of you guys that know Batania, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to make the band of aura first. There we go. And it is. It requires a rune of mana and four mana steel ingots. Very simple. Very simple. Uh, rune of. Okay, book. Get out of my inventory there. Rune of mana, right there, and four mana steel ingots. And there we have our band of aura. Now, let's go for our band of mana, which requires a mana tablet, and that's made with a mana pearl surrounded by living rock. Do I have a, uh, yeah? And living rock. Now, as you all know, these mana tablets are used to, uh, more or less, you take these mana tablets and you throw them into your mana pool and they will absorb mana. That way you can transfer mana from place to place. Alright, so does this, uh... Press prior to open the bobble spin. Let's, uh, I, I, now I can't remember if I have to charge this in here or what. Do I? Get in there. No? Oh, yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, get in there. Okay, so let's let that sit in there and charge. It should be sucking mana out of the uh, mana pool. How you doing? How's it filling? How fast is it going? Let's grab it. It's got, well, it's got, uh, I can't really see. It looks like it's got a bit in it. Looks like it's got a bit. So let's go into our bauble menu. We're going to take the band of aura and we're going to toss that into one of our ring slots. And then the band of mana into the other one. So the two of them together should, in fact, be supplying me with a source of mana that I'm carrying around with me. Now, how, how are we going to check that? Let's make ourselves a uh, Rod of the Skies. I, I love Batania, guys. Rod of the Skies. How do we make that one? That's one of my favorites. There it is right there. 
it's one feather, a living wood twig, and a rune of air. Awesome. Do we have a living wood twig in here? Or a feather, even? No, we can make a living wood twig. Like so. And a uh, rune of air was the other thing, wasn't it? A rune of summer, a rune of air. And let's go get ourselves a feather! At the very least, hope that we have a feather. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's go into the baubles again. Let's take off the ring. Let's let it sit in there while we go do this. Let's go get a feather. Make ourselves the rod of the sky. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Britannia offers a whole bunch of different rods, sort of like sort of like magic wands. Oh, you telling me I don't have a feather? Are you telling me I used up all my freaking feathers? There's no way I used up all my freaking feathers. No way! No way! Oh my god, we gotta go find a chicken. Boys, we got to go find a chicken. I got no feathers left. Uh, god damn it. <laughs> really disappoints me. So, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the, we got the, you got the Rod of the Skies, uh, which will let you jump really, really high using mana to jump, and it will also give you fall protection uh, while the rod is recharging. So, if you jump off of, oh, god damn it. If you decide to jump off of, like, say, a tall building, uh, your rod will probably be recharged before you hit the ground. So, uh, you could die. So always make sure that you're going to land at the same height that you jumped from, or close to it at the very least. I can't believe I don't have any feathers. Where are we going to find some feathers, boys? That is crazy. I, I must have used them all when I was making the rods of the sky. Or, not the rods of the sky, the, uh, the, the rune of, uh, the rune of, uh... One of those runes required feathers, I can't remember which one. Rune of air? Was that it? The Rune of Air? Oh, let's take our gun out if we're going to go out and do this. And put on your helmet there, Flag. Find ourselves a chicken! Here! Chicky, 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 chicky. Any chickens on the map? Uh, no. I see the dogs. I see some cows. I don't see any chickens. Some squids. Oh, come on. One chicken! One chicken is all I ask for! And, uh, oh, Flag, don't run too far away. Your ring is still sitting in the stupid mana pool. Go back and get your goddamn ring, you stupid idiot. You're running away, you're leaving something there that can, or, well, at least I think it can, despawn. Ugh! Still, okay, good, it's still in there. Let's grab it. Yeah. How's it looking? Okay, it looks pretty much exactly the same. So we'll drop that up in there. That's That equipping sound is really, really freaking cool. All right, let's go this way and see if we can't find ourselves a chicken really fast. They, sh they shouldn't be too hard to find. This is exactly what I need. Uh, like the, you guys, you guys will see uh, next episode why I'm so perturbed to ta today. Perturbed? Is that is that the right uh, the right word for me to be using? Yeah, I, I'm pretty perturbed. I'm pretty aggravated. Uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna mention it right now. Uh, next episode, it'll be a surprise. Hey, look at that! Holy crap! It's Angry Baby Zombie riding a chicken. Get out of the Angry Baby! Jerk! Riding a chicken! Get, get off the chicken! I need that chicken! He- Oh my god, there's more than one of them! What are you guys doing? Get the- uh, 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 Get off the chicken! Oh my god! What the hell was that? An army of angry baby chicken riders! Holy crap! Well, we got our feather! We got our feather! And we got, we 
got some uh, some loot bags. Let's see what we got. Uh, hops. Okay. Magical chalk and some rotten flesh. Is there another one? No, I just got one. Oh my god, that was insane! Angry baby chicken riding zombies. Is there an angry chicken riding baby zombie spawner over there or something? Very inconvenient, but we did get our feathers, so I'm happy. So we're also gonna drop these seeds in there. We can always use more seeds. And the feather, and that is it. That is our rod of the skies. Now, if our mana is charged up, we should be able to do a super jump. <laughs> okay. Um, 